could not find what you were looking for. I'm not looking for anything. I'm filming. <laughs> well, what have we come here to buy? Virginia's recommendation, but I want to watch you pick it out. Yeah. So much more interesting to watch a master of wine pick wines than me. Now you would think it would be here, right? A sparkling wine from Burgundy, but it's not. So we go back to some less expensive wines. Our friend Virginia Grady brought over a bottle of wine yesterday, non-vintage, sparkling wine from Burgundy, and it's on closeout, so it's less than $7 a bottle, delicious, worth triple that. This is an example where packaging matters, because this is not that attractive of a box, right? And so. The bottle looks okay, but the box is fairly unattractive. And unless somebody knows that this is a sparkling wine from Burgundy, made of the same varieties as Champagne, made the same way as Champagne, you, you would have no idea, right? By looking at this box. These boxes are a bit banged up. So how many boxes are we taking? I would imagine these are each half case. We're going to probably get the equivalent of four cases, so eight boxes, because you love sparkling wine by in the hot tub. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, load them up. And then before, I've done previous tastings with Guave Clicquot, which is a very nice bottle of sparkling wine. But this costs $48, right, for the one bottle. Uh, the sparkling wine from Burgundy, the Cremont, we got six bottles for $39, right? So that's a remarkable deal, which is why we've got our cart full. Cart full. Here's another wine that's on sale. Simi's a good producer, but can make wines a little bit too oaked for me. But just, I would refuse to buy a wine named Rebel. So the label and the name does make a difference, though. It does, yeah. It does. And what about this one, Ravina? You know, uh, I don't know anything about the producer. Russian River Valley can produce very good Chardonnays. Uh, but as you know, I'm not that big a fan of typical California mm. Chardonnay. Well, I think I'm going to buy one and try it out. There we go. Uh, Market de Riscal, we've had their wines before. It's a... Uh, well-known, fairly big producer, good value uh, without the sale, better value with the sale. So we get two bottles of this. Pat, how about this Portuguese blend on sale? What do you think of it? It caught my eye. The problem here is that you have to buy the entire case. So if you, I don't like buying a case of wine unless I've tasted a bottle of it. The other thing, if you look here at the box, on this front label at least, it's saying it's from Portugal, but it's not saying where in Portugal. Generally, the more specific region, if this said Alentejo, for example, or the Ribetejo, I would have uh, more confidence in the wine. So the fact that it just says Portugal doesn't say a more specific place. And the fact that you have to buy the entire case probably is a no-go for me. All right, Pat, you asked for some red wine as a prop yep. for your video. So I poured you a red wine on the condition that you blind taste it for us. What do you think it is? Well, I, what I think it is, is a Rioja. It's got medium garnet, medium plus garnet color, clearing at the rim and some, some slight brick change. When I smell it, I smell American oak, which is some vanilla, but also some dill and some coconut. And I get a little hint of lemon, which is unusual for me on red wines. And for me, that lemon is usually tempranillo. So 
is Rioja Tempranillo from Rioja? Yeah, so first off, then on the palate, I have the same flavors, fairly firm tannins, uh, the richness from warm climate. This is Rioja, and Rioja is usually a blend of two primary grape varieties, um, Tempranillo and Garnacha, okay? And the Tempranillo is giving you a little bit of lemon and some earthiness, and the Garnacha is giving you, or Grenache, is giving you uh, berry characteristics. Uh, more structure and tannin with the, with the Tempranillo. A couple of other varieties, but for the, our purpose, Rioja is mostly Tempranillo and Garnacha. Do you like it? I like it. And it was inexpensive. It was a, uh, this is uh, Marquis uh, Riscal, Marquis de Riscal, and it was something like normally $16 a bottle of wine, and it was $12, $13 a bottle. So uh, a good price to start off with, and on sale, even better. Yum, put a smile on my face. Like, subscribe, share, and please send me money, unmarked bills, 50 or $100 bills would work, tightly packed, uh, nothing shows, shows caring by doing some sharing of some money. That would be good, that would make me happy.